Hello, welcome to another unboxing. This time it's some filtered plug sockets that show the mains coming in, the amperage, uh, take out lightning strikes. It says Audio Wally, it's a Chinese device, costs £90, £89.99. Um, it's got some American sockets, some UK, and well, we'll open it up and have a look. It says it's Audio Wally, and on the um, listing on Amazon it said it was knob sound which is a funny name and in fact it does say there knob sound <laughs> knob sound audio 300 anti-surge new made in China well there we are so let's have a look inside the box see what we got now um there's a lot of debates about hi-fi and mains filtering. Some people say it doesn't make any difference at all. Um, I can hear a difference. I usually find the most difference is if I've got any transformers that are switch mode. So I've got a little light that I've got next to the hi-fi and if I turn that on it narrows the stereo field slightly. And if you use, a, I've got some MK um, filtered sockets there and um, that stops that happening. So for me, I, I think it does something. Well, that's why I bought this. And um, I'm going to use it for the meat synthesizers and my new rack that I'm currently working on. Um, just to keep the supply as clean as possible. So I've got lots of analog synths I'm going to be wiring up to it and try and keep any noise on the mains down. So here is my post off warranty. So, um, I'll be filling that out later. Yeah, right. Okay. And a nice instruction here. Oh, yes, I see. Yep. Okay. Mm hmm. Ah. Well, it says 3000 watts at 15 amps, 220 volts. Well, I reckon I've got about 240 volts. It used to be about 255 at one stage. And, uh,. Well, I'll put it up, I'll try and get a nice big load on it and see what happens. I mean, I've got a kettle, that's about 3,000 watts, that might be worth just putting that on and just seeing if it can take the load that it says it can before there's any thermal cutting out because there's protection here on the back. So that's not much help. Right, so we get a power cord, so that's good. And what that is. And it actually looks like not a bad power cord. It certainly looks like it will be... I mean, it's rated at 500 volts. It's got a... Oh, well, the plug is rated uh, to 50 volts, 13 amps. Which is what you get out of your plug socket. Just wonder what fuse it's got in there. Actually, let's have a quick look. Yes, it should have... 13 amp fuse in there. If it hasn't then I'll be changing it definitely for a 13 amp one. So what have we got in here? What's the right colour? Yep, 13 amps. Okay, that looks nice and new. So I'll reuse that to start with, but I might I might use a Nordos cable to the extra unit, so I'll get the benefit of any extra rejection from that twist that the uh, Nordos cables have. Okay. Now it's not overly heavy. I know some people are thinking it's quite a heavy unit, but there's no transformer in this. It's just mains, probably a a few. Uh, inline suppressors or something and then a rather nice display on this one this is this is one of the reasons i got it i mean this just look great in any hi-fi shelf wouldn't it if you've got a spare shelf and you have like i don't know one or two of these at the bottom i think it look rather nice wouldn't it so it says audio wally on this one and not knob sound so i i guess that's you know some saving grace there filtered protected sockets rated at 15 amps at 220. So yeah, we've got six UK type. I think these are American. 
obviously there well since it obviously there are no English instructions so uh, I'm guessing but I think they look like American to me it's a rather nice finish it's like the old Maplin's boxes it's got that sort of brushed metal there must be a small circuit then it all goes on to maybe or perhaps that's the uh, cut out so on the back we've got two ons and a reset button which must be a thermal one because it doesn't do anything there's no actual switching on that at the moment I guess it would probably jump out if anything happens okay I'm quite looking forward to having a look at display because it shows the amperage, I think the amperage draw and the voltage going into the unit so that would be quite interesting so I think I'm going to take this in the kitchen and just boil up some water to put a max load on it and just see that it does cope with the uh, 3000 watts or so so into the kitchen we go so welcome to the kitchen so I've got the rapid boil kettle well, just under 3000 watts I think just plugged into one of these here got it plugged in at the wall and I'm going to turn it on the back one thing I noticed already oh, sorry about the shadows here if you turn on just this side nothing happens you actually have to turn on this side first so you can turn this side on and off and then this one by the look of things but not the other way around so that's worth knowing and what have we got 243 volts here as I thought it's down about 10 volts from what it used to be so it's getting better so let's boil this kettle here oh there we go look 12.2 amps load yeah that's going to be the biggest load that I can probably find in my home and look at the voltage drop with that load on that's quite interesting waste of water I'm gonna use it to uh, top up my teapot so I don't like wasting the energy really if I can help it right let's watch it go now I'd normally turn it off myself for the sake of filming there we go right back down and the voltage goes back up there we are so that's quite interesting So, I mean, it's no point me putting in hi-fi pieces and then trying to get you to listen to things because you've got to hear it through the computer speakers anyway. Um, I'm going to have a little go on that and I'll, uh, if you want to ask me how it went, I'll, I'll put a comment in later on. But this was just a test to see that it does go to its rated. Obviously, I can't draw more than 13 amps, even it's rated at 15. But it certainly went nearly up to uh, 13 amps there. That's what I said, that's the biggest load I can put on it, and it's fine. And uh, there's no warmth, there's no warmth at the cable, no warmth underneath. Well, I. Oh! 
that's that timer I bought it and never uh, stop. There you go. And the reason is I'm just a whoa steam coming out there, it's fogged up the uh, camera. Got a pizza in the oven with extra smoked bacon and tomatoes. Anyways, there we are. Not a bad unit. As I say, some of the actual filter plugs that you buy to plug in. So if you've got a line like I have in the in the back room, you can plug one in it and it should filter all of them in some way. Some of them are well over a hundred. So for this in this nice box with six UK plug sockets, I think that's not a bad bad looking little piece of kit. So there we are. So that's the Audio Wally. Which was knob sound, but now it's all your Wally. We have filter protection, 31 N1, 224, 50, 60 hertz, 15 amp rated um, socket filtered power supply. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. <laughs>